I've had a number of music promoters say to me one of the key sites where when people are turning up to venues and are finding that their tickets aren't real, one of the regular sites they purchase them from is a site called Viagogo. Uh, now, uh, I've, I've heard of incidents, for example, uh, from Frontier that when they last had Justin Bieber, uh, he didn't tour New Zealand, they had people fly from New Zealand to Sydney to attend the concert only to find on arrival that their ticket was fake. Uh, I was at Blues Fest over Easter. Uh, one of my daughters who was with me uh, was expecting to catch up with some friends of hers where their whole family had gone up to Byron Bay to attend Blues Fest for Easter. I asked her at the end how come we never saw them and she said, oh, it turned out they had fake tickets. I asked her to check where they'd come from. The answer? Via Gogo. I did the check myself and I'd encourage members to check on every search engine you can because it's not just, you know, sometimes we get into Google bashing and things like that. It's not just Google. You can go through Google, you can go through Bing. I even tried that DuckDuckGo uh, search engine that's there. Pick a major international artist, type tickets and see what comes up as an early item, often the first item, telling you where to go for your tickets. And Always on the first page, I went through Montaigne, Lumineers, Santana, Midnight Oil, Julia Jacqueline, Jimmy Barnes. Every time, Via Gogo came up as the site, and it says Via Gogo official site, meaning it's the official site of Via Gogo. But if you're someone who buy, might buy a ticket every two or three years, if you're someone who's not constantly out there buying tickets, and if you are constantly out there buying tickets, it's a pretty expensive way. Uh, for people to be getting entertainment, because in particular if it's these major artists. You see the words official site and you click through. And we do need to find a way of making sure, one, when tickets say that they're not transferable and not to be resold, that we acknowledge the site doing the reselling is engaging unlawfully. And when they're selling something that turns out to not be valid, they're engaging in theft. And when they've got a reputation of doing this repeatedly, can we continue with a situation where the search engines are receiving advertising dollars to continue to promote sites like that? Now, Viagogo's official policy is, well, if you turn up and it turns out to be a fake ticket, they'll give you your money back. Well, that's not much good if you've flown to be at the venue. That's not much good if you've been looking forward to wanting to go to this particular gig, think you've got your tickets and therefore didn't go anywhere else, and by the time you turn up and discover that your tickets are fake, it's impossible to get comparable seats or possibly any seats to any of the remaining gigs if they exist. We are talking about a consumer affairs issue that has hit the music industry that is hitting everyday Australians on one of their largest discretionary purchases. In the first instance, we should find if there is a way of working with the search engines to get a sensible outcome here. But we cannot allow there to be a continued situation where companies effectively operating in Australia are receiving advertising dollars to direct Australians to purchase stolen goods, to purchase illegal goods. That cannot be a valid commercial arrangement. It's happening every day. It's happening more and more. There is no benefit to the Australian economy. There is only loss for people who love live music. And whether it's turning up to a music festival or turning up to a major artist, whether they be Australian or international, we must start acting now so that if someone buys a ticket, they know that they can turn up and get entry to the music they love.